Hello, my name is Jim Swain, and I'm a Solutions Engineer with Synergist Technologies. Today we're going to take a look at a slightly different use of Inventor's Frame Generator. We're going to use Frame Generator to build a dimensional lumber crating around this box. The first step is to create an eye part for the size of the crate members. Create a new standard part. And in that part, generate the size of the cross section. In this case, we'll start with a 1 by 3. So I'm going to say that the width is equal to 2 and a half, And the thickness is equal to 3 quarters. There's my starting point, and I'll center this about the origin. Horizontal constraint to the middle of that, and a vertical constraint to the middle of one of the horizontal lines. Now the way I built this automatically generated the parameters for the thickness and for the width. So they were immediately added in there. I'll finish the sketch. And when I go to extrude, I'm also going to generate a parameter here for the length. I'll assign a property of wood to this. Go ahead and pick one of the pre-existing woods, such as birch. And save this piece. I'm going to call this dimensional lumber. And now change this into an eye part. Manage tab, create eye part. And all the parameters that were identified by name are immediately transferred into the table. And I'll add a second row. And that second row is going to be for a 2x4. So 3.5 long and one and a half thick. And save again. Now at this point I need to author this into a structural shape that can be used by the frame generator. Click on the author command. For the category I'll select square rectangular hex bars. It's got all the information need in terms of base extrusion, default base point. I don't have a notch profile so I'm not going to worry about that. For the parameter mapping I'll say that this basic length is going to be my length parameter. And now I can publish the part. Pick a read write library for it to be written to. In this case I'll go with my library. Click on Next, and there's the family that's going to be published to. Again, staying with base length using the table column for length. And to find the family key columns, I'm worried about the width and the thickness. I'll change that order there. It's going to be published to a family named Dimensional Lumber. Say this is Lumber for Crates and Framing. I can assign it to a standards organization. Maybe pick ANSI. We'll pick ANSI for this example. Suggest a manufacturer if necessary, standard, standard revision, all of which I'm going to ignore. Click on Next. Here's the thumbnail that's going to be used, and now I'll publish. Publish has been completed, and I'm ready to go. 
go back over to my crate and start the frame generator. In the frame generator, I'm going to select the member. I publish that to the ANSI family. I'll drop down my list of families and at the bottom I'll see my lumber. Select the size. There's the two sizes. And we'll start with the 1x3s for the ends. Material style, birch. And I'll start picking sides. I'll shift the corner points to get it line up where I want it. And keep selecting. And there's my basic end. I'll go with the default names for the frame and for the pieces. Now, since this is going to be created as a crate, I need to do some trimming. So I'll zoom in and start with trim and extend. I'll trim these two verticals to go to the space. I have a zero gap going in on that end. And then I'll go down to the bottom end. And do the same command. Verticals are going to be trimmed, but this time I'll leave a little bit of a saw cut to allow water drainage. And go to this space here. I could continue building the rest of the crate work around this, putting identical pieces on the other end, building another set on the other side, staying with one by three, picking the correct size for this. Be careful I don't have it kicked into the piece. There we go. Coming out around. Again, accepting all the defaults for the names. And going through the trim and extend again. This is the zero sign. And this piece. Eighth inch away from this bottom. Now for making the long pieces, I would go through pretty much the same route, this time picking the 2x4, grabbing the edges. Here I need to do a 270 degree rotation, swing it up along. Now I can continue working through this, but I'm going to go and show how I would extend this out using the same technique as before, grabbing the frame edge. It's going to extend out to that face now. And if you have an error, such in this case where I have the incorrect uh, offset, I can go and either undo the previous move, change with the trim extend. I'll delete the original end treatment. I'm going to take that piece out to that face with a zero offset. And there we go. You saw it delete the old uh, offset and put a new one in. So here's an example of creating something that you may not think of as a frame, but using the frame generator in a way that help you get your job done faster and easier and a lot more enjoyably. Thank you for your time and keep an eye on our Synergist uh, Tips and Tricks YouTube channel for additional information. Have a good day.